goddamn wizards, man. Alright, y'all, listen, man. This was not a video I was actually expecting to make. It's going on 12 a.m. in the damn morning. And I'm sitting here still baffled by the fact that the Wizards, the Washington Wizards, blew a 35-point lead to the damn Clippers, bro. I don't know how the hell it happens. I literally did not know what the hell happened. I had the game on at the end. 20 seconds left. Turned the bitch off. I turned it off. I was like, okay, okay. They're up by six. Absolutely no way that they win. And somehow, some way, I get a tweet from Kenny. He talking about the Clippers won. I'm sitting over here. The Clippers won? What the fuck? Bro, I had to watch. Bro, I need to watch that final second. So I'm really about to pull this shit up right now. And I'm about to I'm about to sh I'm about to react with this right here, right now, bro. Cause I don't know what the hell happened. I had the game off, bro. I'm about to watch the final three minutes right now, bro. This is literally one of the biggest collapses I've seen in like a long ass time, bro. This is what I'm saying. The thing is, the Clippers literally are like the comeback kings. I tweeted this on my I tweeted this uh on my Twitter. You guys can go follow. But literally, they're the comeback kings, bro. If they're down 0-2 or they're down 30 plus, they about to give you a dub. I remember, I know y'all remember the 2019 playoffs, bro, when they went against Curry and them boys in the first round, bro. And they were down 32. And Trez led them to a comeback. Tobias Harris, you know, my boy Shea Alexander, and a lady all-star Landry Shamit. That's the guy, bro. I can't believe they came back from that, and I damn well cannot believe that they came back tonight, bro. I, there, bro, there's so much to talk about with this game. It's literally insane. Here, four minutes and 24 seconds to go. They have an 11 point lead. That's insane to me, bro. Two minutes and 34 seconds left in this game, and they are literally down, bro. They're literally up by two. What? How? Like, how? Like, genuinely, how? Like, like, I'm still baffled by 35 points. So that's that's still the thing that's in my mind right now is that they blew a 35-point fucking lead. The last time I checked this game, I was literally watching the Celtics absolutely shit on the on the Kings. They were up by 60 at one point. And then, you go, and then I look at the Clippers and Wizards game because obviously I need the Clippers to lose because they're at the ninth spot and Celtics are at the eighth spot and they're only like a half a game behind us. So I'm like, the Wizards need to lose this damn game. So that's why I was paying attention to this game so much. The Wiz was up by six. They were up 60 to 27. I was like, there's absolutely no way that they lose this game. Well, it doesn't matter because the Celtics are going to win anyway. So who gives a fuck? You know what I'm saying? And somehow they lose. Let's get back to the video. Right here. Look at this shit. That should have been game. That should have been game. And I'm going to put this clip up here so y'all know what I'm talking about. That right there should have been game. Um, I don't know how I'm going to really like you know, react to this video. I don't know if I'm going to put it up on the screen or I'm just going to put up the, you know, the vital parts on the screen. But that should have been game. I mean, 113 to 105 with 37 seconds left. I mean, you got to have a fucking miracle in today's NBA to, you know, get that off. 29 seconds left. They still have the fucking ball. They're up by six. And Tress gets fouled. This right here is where I turned on the game and I turned it off. Because I was like, okay, whoa, they're, it looks like they're about to come back, but then they started sparking another lead, and bro, Trez misses one free throw. I remember this. Trez misses one free throw. They literally have, they literally have ball. They literally have ball. No, listen, 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 listen. They have the ball, and the Clippers wait to fucking foul them. Three seconds. Right here, look at this. Wet as fuck, bro. Luca North from 70, bro. Luca North from fucking 70 feet. Somehow, some way he goes in. What the fuck? And Ann won three. Bradley Beal. I'll basically know what happened at that point. He made the shot and the Clippers lost the fucking game. But, um... I was literally watching, or I was listening to one of the craziest Twitter spaces I've ever fucking heard, bro. Because they let all their anger out. I heard people saying that they wanted to trade Spencer Dinwiddie for a bowl bowl in that bitch, bro. There was people saying free Bradley Beal. Bradley Beal is a, is a bitch. Um, their GM needs to make moves. They hate their GMs. They said that they hate their GM with every fiber in their being, bro. They, bro, at this point... 
Blizzard's fans are down terrible, bro. I really do feel bad. Like, I feel bad. And at this point, if we're going to have realistic, um, if we're going to have realistic, like, aspirations for this team, I generally think it's time to start a rebuild. I think it's time to start a rebuild. I think you trade Bradley Beal. Um, people are saying that there's a reason why teams in the NBA, um, now that aren't the Washington Wizards want Bradley Beal, um, to be like a second or third option on their team. They don't want him to be like their star because he's not a star. That's what they were saying. And to be honest, Wiz fans, they've been through it. They've been through, they've been through, um, the struggles with Gilbert Arenas to John Wall and his injury and John Wall and Bradley Beal and their fat ass contracts and them not being able to, you know, get out of the second round. Um, they've been dealing with it all, man. They've dealing with mediocrity. They've dealing with Russell Westbrook. And now they're dealing with Bradley Beal and Contavious Caldwell Pope. Um, gotta get Kyle Kuzma out of there, bro. It's not free Bradley Beal. It's free my man Kyle Kuzma, bro. That dude trying to carry the damn load every single goddamn day, bro. They're really saying shit the whole team. I guess Wizards fans don't like Denny Abia. I guess the Wizards fans hate Davis Bertans and for a good reason, too. I mean, the man has not been playing good and he got the big bag last offseason, bro. Um, and somehow Wizards fans are turning their back on Bradley Beal, and it's insane. They're saying that they should not be paying Bradley Beal $200 million when he can't even put asses in the seats. And I genuinely do agree with that. You do not pay Bradley Beal this offseason. This literally should be a year where Bradley Beal should, you know, like, shine. This should be a year where he shines. This is a contract year, bro. Um, you should be paying, you should be playing for that big bag. If you want that big bag, you should be playing for it, bro. And you are not playing at that type of level. No fucking way are you going to get paid more than LeBron. No way you're going to get paid more than Giannis. Like, you're just not that guy. You know what I'm saying? You're not, I mean, I don't like to be that person to say, oh, you're not that guy type shit. And, you know, slander basketball players on this channel. I don't like doing that. You know what I'm saying? I took down one of the Ben Simmons videos for a reason because I was doing nothing but slandering him and bashing his name. And I don't like that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's toxic as hell. But... Bradley Beal is not a $200 million player. He's just not. I'm sorry. You don't pay him that money. If you pay him that money, you're basically putting yourself in a hole for years to come. They've been so mediocre that they're accepting mediocrity at this point. And I think that that is horrible. I want to see a Wizards rebuild. I want to see a Wizards rebuild really, really badly. And this is just, you know, they crazy. They're proving me right. The Wizards are proving me right, and it sucks to say it, bro, because they started the season off 10 and 3, and now they're, what, 24 and 25. It's just, this is horrible, man. I just feel really, really bad. Um, Wizards fans, you know, do something, bro. You know, go outside, you know what I'm saying? You know, um, enjoy the scenery, you know, you know, have a nice cup of coffee, you know, make friends, just you know, overall, have a good time. Just don't watch Wizards basketball for, like, the next, like, three, four games. And you'll see a massive difference in your life. Because I know that your mental health is just shitty because your team has been shitty, you know, throughout the whole time that you've been watching them. I feel bad. Hopefully, the Wizards can, you know, make a comeback just like the Clippers made a comeback on them. Okay, let me chill. Let me chill. Let me chill. Let me chill. I got to get out of here, bro. This video, this video is all over the place. I don't even know what I'm going to do. This is this is insane, bro. I got to get to editing this video because this video is going up tonight. Um, I did have a whole nother video that I was going to make. It was going to be by the Lakers, but the Lakers ended up getting a dub today. So I'm probably not going to upload that until, you know, they make, they like take another L or something. I'll see y'all later. I'm out of this bed.